Good morning, I'm Jessica Janowski. Today is March 17th, so happy St. Patrick's Day. We're on the 17th day of our March Mindful Challenge. Today we're going to do um, a yoga pose that's simple yet complicated. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to step back, choose a side, so stepping back, and you're going to make a nice deep lunge. So this is going to be warrior one once I talk, talk you through it. Make sure that your front knee is not in front of your ankle. So not here, but 90 degrees, or it can be back, but never in front of your ankle because that's dangerous. You're going to make a 45 degree um, angle with your back foot and your heel to your front foot should be in a straight line with your arch or your heel of your back foot. Okay, turning your hips and shoulders forward, and then inhaling up, this is your warrior one pose. Okay, so in warrior one, this is what we're gonna be mindful of as soon as I get you there. Warriors are strong, they're brave, they fight for what's right. That doesn't necessarily mean they have to be violent. People like Martin Luther King, Gandhi, those people fought in such a way that was peaceful. So here you are proud, you are strong, you are brave. We're going to take five deep breaths on this side at your own pace, but you're just going to inhale and exhale out. Do about five deep breaths on your own. On your last breath, really make sure you're paying attention to your body. What are your legs feeling like? What are your arms feeling like? What are your shoulders feeling like? Step it forward, shake that out. Of course, we have to do the other side. So we're first gonna get ourselves set, making sure your knee is safe, your back foot is where it needs to be. And then you wanna make sure that your knee doesn't drift in, it should be pushing out so it's pushing out toward your pinky toe so you can see your big toe and then squaring your hips and your shoulders to the front as best you can five deep breaths be very mindful of your breaths and what your body is feeling On your last exhale, bring it up, shake it out. Stand here just for a second. Notice if you feel any differences in your legs. Was one side easier than the other side? What is your breath and heartbeat doing now? Do you notice a physical change in your body in terms of some things might feel more stretched out, some things might feel like they've just been activated, um, maybe your body feels warmer than when you started, even though it was a very short practice. So any time you do exercise, and not just in yoga, but it's really easy. It's easier in yoga because it's a little bit slower paced sometimes. But any time you're doing anything fitnessy, if you're connecting mind to body, you're actually going to get better results. You'll be more effective in your workout. So I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and. You enjoy all the shenanigans that you can think of, and have a wonderful day. Namaste.